Hey guys, welcome to the level two calculus viewer questions. Uh, so this one uh, was sent to me on my Facebook page. So let's have a look at this. So what we've got here is, uh, I don't know if you guys can read the question properly, but that's the best screenshot I got there from uh, the student here. So you've got find R in the equation where Y is equal to negative four X plus R. Uh, if Y is a tangent to the function and F of X is x cubed minus 6x squared plus 8x. Got to try and figure out what r is. Um, and we also know that uh, this right here is the tangent, right? So let me just show you guys what this roughly looks like. So the first kind of idea you need to understand here is that this right here is a cubic, which and it's a positive cubic. So it's going to look something like this. Yeah, that's a terrible drawing. Uh, maybe something like this, OK? roughly and what we also know is that this tangent here is uh, y equals negative 4x plus r but I guess the only part that I'm interested in is the tangents gradient which equals to negative 4 which means uh, negative 4 is you know probably somewhere here and then the tangent is going some like that's the idea all right that's just a rough idea um, so what we need to Kind of work out first is we need to actually try and figure out what uh, this blue point right here is going to be where the red line which is the tangent touching the cubic is going to be at all right so the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to work out what f dash of x is first so when we differentiate uh, f of x so i'm just going to write down f of x again so just so you guys can see it so we got x cubed minus 6x squared plus 8x and then i'm going to differentiate it so when I differentiate it, I'm going to get 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. So once I get the f, uh, the gradient function, I know that the gradient is negative 4 um, for the tangent, right? So in other words, uh, what I'm trying to figure out is when is f dash of x equal to negative 4? Because when is the gradient, so what for what value of x is the gradient negative 4? So I'm going to substitute negative 4, uh, which is, well, let me just change a different color, sorry, because I did use green here for negative 4. So I'm actually going to substitute uh, negative 4 here, uh, which equals to 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. And when I rearrange this, I'm going to get 0 is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 8, and I'm going to get that minus 4 which comes to the right hand side it becomes plus 4 simplifying this I'm going to get 3x squared minus 12x plus 12 okay now I need to factorize this and I can kind of see that uh, it is happening to be a nice um, I mean 3 is a common factor so I can take out 3 as a common factor and I'm going to get x squared minus 4x plus 4 And now I can actually do 0 divided by 3, which equals to 0. So I've got 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4. And if I factorize it, I'm going to get x minus 2 times x minus 2. And from here, I can say that, therefore, x minus 2 equals to 0. I don't really need to worry about the other bracket. So then x is equal to positive 2. So what I've discovered here is that x is equal to 2. So if you think about it, I have figured out what this blue points x coordinate is and that is 2 so I actually need to go back and figure out now I need to figure out what the y value for that blue point is and to figure out the y value uh, I simply substitute um, x equals to 2 into this equation I don't know why my pen's doing that is really annoying but I'm gonna work it out here so I want to actually work out what f of 2 is. So when I do that, I'm going to get 2 to the power of 3 minus 6 times 2 squared plus 8 times 2. So I've got 8 minus 6 times 4 is 24 plus 8 times 2 is 16. And I've got 0. So this point here is going to be 2, 0. Now, remember what the original question is. The question is I've got to try and figure out what r is. All right, this is what I'm looking for. But what I've discovered is 
if you think about it, the red line, the red line here, it has a gradient of negative 4 and it actually goes through the point to 0. So all I got to do is I got to write a, write a straight line equation. So in other words, I've got m is equal to negative 4 and the point is 2, 0. So just put in y equals mx plus c and substitute the values. So you've got 2, 0. So this is your m. This is your x and y. Substituting the values, I'm going to get 0 is equal to negative 4 is the m. Uh, x is 2 plus c. Okay, so in other words, uh, what I can then do is rearrange this so that c is equal to positive 8. And if c equals to positive 8, then my equation is equal to y equals negative 4x plus 8. So I can kind of say, therefore, r is equal to 8 as my final answer. Okay guys, so what I've actually done is I've actually just sketched this on Desmos just to show you guys what it'll look like. So as you can see, the, the red is uh, the cubic right there. And when I put in negative 4x plus 8, you can see that the tangent is at 2, 0 like we actually predicted. So in this case, the final answer is going to be uh, r is equal to 8. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video and share this video. And also subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Uh, there should also be some tutorials coming up shortly. And there should be some links for other videos and questions as well. Cool, thanks for watching.